esteem issues, so you have nothing to base your pride on. Because if you ask even a young black person what black people have contributed to this world, they probably wouldn't know much. They wouldn't have much to say as compared to the whites, the Asians, so on and so forth. It means you move away from a mainstream kind of look because you're being you. So when you have the over-processed kind of look, you're trying to look like somebody else. So that's how it can boost your self-esteem because you wake up in the morning and you look like the most beautiful version of yourself. Society, uh, we don't know our history, we don't know our roots and our culture. And as a result, um, we don't have very positive self-image as women and we don't have very self positive self-image that we teach our little girls. So I think it's very important as a society that we know ourselves and as a result we can teach that to our young girls coming up, especially once you hit the teenage years, which is such an awkward time when you're learning to discover yourself, learning who you are. It's very important for you to know, if you know who you are and you know your history, then it makes that transition that much easier as a child. Um, growing, growing up in this society, so it's very important, I think, that a parent knows themselves and teach their history and their culture to their children, and as a result, as they grow, they will have a positive self-image and a positive concept of who they are and what they want out of life. I decided to go natural because um, I didn't agree with putting chemicals in my hair. And at a young age, my mom permed my hair, and um, the chemicals damaged my hair. And also, um, I think a lot of black women in today's society are influenced by what they see in the media. And in the media, what is defined as beauty is, is women with straight hair. And a lot of people um, from my background, my culture, um, we have kinky texture hair, and I think we need to um, educate younger girls um, that it's okay to embrace your natural textures. And so for me personally, I chose to wear my hair natural because of, again, the chemicals and the fact that I wanted to find.